What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Wrestling with Jonners. This is a special bonus episode and it's a, a two minute brain buster quiz. Now we did one a, few, a couple of weeks back with BJ from Aussie Lucia Mining for Mayhem podcast and that was a really fun episode. We've got a bit of a leaderboard going and uh, my, my next guest I'm sure uh, will kind of be, be uh, in a strong position on the leaderboard when all said and done. But I want to reintroduce somebody that's been on the podcast a couple of times, somebody that's been on the Wrestling with Jonas show uh, twice, and that's Mags. Now, uh, Mags, three pods. How you doing, Mags? Uh, great to have you back on the show again, my friend. Yeah, it's a, a pleasure to be back, although I think you your confidence may be misplaced. <laughs> um, yeah, when it comes to wrestling um, kind of trivia, yeah, I, I, I tend to develop wrestling Alzheimer's quite a lot. <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward to doing this with you. And as I promoted on on uh, social media, this is going to be a special WrestleMania based edition because we're only days away from WrestleMania 36. Mm. And uh, of course, I think since we last spoke, Max, you know, a, a lot of things has happened in the world. Obviously, you know, the coronavirus uh, pandemic has, has swept uh, the globe, and we're all being impact, uh, impacted in it because of coronavirus, one way or another. Um, and the same goes for professional wrestling. And as we know, WrestleMania is going to be spread over two days which is uh, could be considered a good thing because they are usually very long shows um if they're uh, done on a singular day but uh, the reason why they're done are uh, 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 it's going to be done over two days is because of the coronavirus they kind of spread um you know the entire show out of two days and have less performers less matches on each day but uh, it's also been pre-recorded but um you know i'm just curious to know mags will you be watching wrestlemania and is it is it something that uh, you're looking forward to where's your kind of hype level at the moment regarding wrestlemania 36 yeah it's it's weird it's really really weird and it's uh it's something that when when it comes to like remembering 10 20 years down the line this will be a wrestling that we we will never be able to forget because it's so unique uh personally i, I i'm i'm glad it's happening i really um i think WWE kind of always kind of lead the way when there's anything like major in the world that's going on. We had it with uh, 9-11 where WWE were the first kind of show that uh, kind of stood up to to um, the the world in in terms of like getting back to normality. And, and I I think that's kind of maybe the aim with WrestleMania. I know there's a lot of uh, talk for people wanted it to to kind of be postponed, but do you know what? I don't. I want it to happen because mm. it, it's it's 36 years old. It's it's something that's like that I've grown up with, and I, I don't I don't think it'd be the same without having a, a WrestleMania. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for it. Just in a, a totally different, weird kind of way as compared to um, WrestleMania's previous. I mean, for this one, for example, I don't even know half the matches. I've I've, I've kind of stayed away from um, getting involved in 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 like all the the kind of Twitter talk about. Uh, about WrestleMania, uh, as opposed to like over the last couple of years, uh, but yeah, as a person, I'm still excited to 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 watch WrestleMania, and yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to watch. It really is. It really is, and um, I'm I'm curious to see you know how they stage it, what the presentation is like, how the matches come across without any fans and of course we've seen a fair bit of uh, WWE, AEW and uh, one or two other shows uh, without uh, any audience over the last few weeks but um, uh, the most important thing I just alluding to I think what, what you were saying you know it's <sighs> trying to keep and, try and put smiles on people's faces and uh, uh, you know when there's no other sporting events and no regular TV shows you've still got the WWE to rely on I suppose for a weekly or various weekly shows and along with that uh, Wrestlemania is there to uh, cap off some of the storylines that have been building over the last few months and um, yeah you could get one or two good matches there but uh, more importantly it's just to kind of put smiles on people's faces so I think that's a really yeah. really good positive thing uh, but we are here for the two minute brain buster quiz, the WrestleMania edition, Mags. Um, uh, you, you, you kind of, you know, being a, you know, you're not too confident with your, your kind of <laughs> wrestling. Uh, you're not letting too many cats out the bag regarding your wrestling general knowledge. But I'm sure uh, your 30 plus years as a wrestling fan <laughs> will uh, kind of help you out here. So it's 
I hope so. Go on. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a general knowledge uh, quiz. You've probably heard to one or two ep- of one or two episodes in the past, mm-hmm. and uh, you've currently got um, Grizz, uh, who's one of he's a friend mm. of the show and uh, regular on our Facebook community group. And uh, I think on the very first episode of the Two Minute Brain Buster Quiz, Grizz scored nine correct questions that's, that's, in, in two. It minutes. sounds unreal. Sounds unreal. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty, pretty mean feat there. And uh, I think he, he had about 12 or 13 questions asked to him in that uh, two minutes. Uh, so there is potential, you know, if we fly through these questions uh, to score over nine, uh, b- because you are going to get 10 plus questions, I reckon, in this two minutes uh, asked to you, Mags. So every single question is going to be WrestleMania related. Um, and uh, my, my only bit of advice is just give yourself that extra fraction of a second to think of the correct answer and if you're not sure instead of passing give an, give an answer anyway because you never know it could be the right one it could very well be the right one but uh, we're going to be asking questions uh, from WrestleMania spanning pretty much the whole 35, 36 years uh, as it stands at the moment so uh, Mags are you ready? Yeah as long as I get more than uh, more than BJ that's, <laughs> that's, that's the level I'm aiming at beating uh, BJ because as you know uh, I'm already two 0 up against him in the in the wrestling ashes, so I can't yeah, let yeah. that I can't let him him have this over me. So yeah, no. I'm, I'm aiming for two. Anything more is a bonus. Well, there we go. Well, let's just quickly uh, recap the leaderboards. You do have uh, BJ for uh, from uh, mine in for mayhem at the bottom there. Unfortunately, on on just the one, uh, Kieran Reed, a, a friend of the show, uh, scored three. Then you got uh, Jason Lee Wood on six, Nick Towers on seven, Ashley Clements on eight eight can very very close to uh, leveling uh, the, the top score but uh, you still got Grizz after all these weeks at the top there with nine and nine is the score to beat so let's make sure I've got my questions open in front of me and the stopwatch ready and uh, the tie will start when I ask my first question so Let's get my little notepad ready here so I can uh, mark off uh, how well you do as we progress so The quiz starts now. How many times has Madison Square Gardens hosted WrestleMania? One. What was the main event of WrestleMania 11? (sighs) Psycho Sid versus The Undertaker. What was unique about the main event to WrestleMania 20? It wasn't, it was the first time it wasn't a world title. Who won the hardcore battle royal at WrestleMania 16 in the year 2000? Oh, I want to say Crash Holly. How many times has Brock Lesnar main evented at WrestleMania? Three. Which WWF legend and Hall of Famer uh, won the NFL versus WWF Battle Royal in WrestleMania 2? Lawrence Taylor. Who won the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 21? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Edge. Which wrestler was uh, in the opening match to WrestleMania 7, WrestleMania 8 and WrestleMania 9? I want to say Shawn Michaels. Who was Bret Hart's opponent for the I Quit match at WrestleMania 11? Jerry Lawler. How many times did Hulk Hogan wrestle in the closing match to a WrestleMania? Nine. What type of match did Mr. T and Roddy Piper have at WrestleMania 2? Boxing. Name one uh, one of the only two WrestleManias to be held outside of the USA. Um, but there's the what they both I'm sure they're both in Canada. I want to say WrestleMania 27. Okay, your time is up, Mag. So we'll stop you oh. there at question 12. Let's go through and see <sighs> how well you did. How do you think you did, first of all? I'm not confident. I th- I'm thinking about four maybe five okay okay so um 
Question number one, we'll go through them. How many times has Madison Square Garden hosted WrestleMania? I think you said once. I did. Now, it's actually three times. They, mm. they hosted I knew WrestleMania. as soon as I said it. I yeah, wrong. WrestleMania 1, WrestleMania 10, and WrestleMania 20. Yeah. So, uh, one down so far. Uh, what was the main event to WrestleMania 11? Now, I can't remember your answer. But, I said uh, Sack thr- or Sid versus Undertaker, but I think that was like WrestleMania and that. That was I WrestleMania. That was WrestleMania f- uh, or thirteen, yeah, maybe th- thirteen or, or thereabouts. Mm. But to the correct question, correct answer to WrestleMania eleven main event was Bam Bam Bigelow versus Lawrence Taylor. That was in was. 1995, of course. Uh, what was unique about the main event to WrestleMania twenty? Um, and you said that it was the only WrestleMania without a title involved. Now, that was incorrect. Now, you could have given me two answers here because there's two things that are quite unique about the main event to WrestleMania 20. Was it the one and where it's did they both have their actual real names? No, I know which WrestleMania you're referring to, but regarding WrestleMania 20, it was the first ever main event that was a triple threat. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was the first ever uh, Mania main event that was won via a submission. And of course, uh, so I'm Noir, doing horrifically so far. You're you're you're, you're uh, zero for three at the moment, <laughs> but let, let's continue. It can only get better. Uh, who won the hardcore battle royal at WrestleMania 16 in the year 2000? You said Crash Holly, and it was so so close because it was Hardcore Holly who won the battle royal, wow. but he defeated Crash Holly as the kind of the, to win the match, the final uh, kind of pinfall in the Hardcore battle royal in that year's Wrestle, uh, uh, Hardcore battle royal at WrestleMania 16. So it's Hardcore Holly was the correct answer there. Other competitors besides Hard- Hardcore Holly and Crash Holly were uh, Bradshaw, Farouk, Funaki, Joey Abs, Mosh, Crash, uh, sorry, Crash Holly, Taz, Viscera, Pete Gas. Rodney, Takamishinoku, Thrasher. Um, so uh, a real cast of legends there. Um, but uh, that was a really fun match from what I remember. Question five. How many times has Brock Lesnar main evented uh, WrestleMania? Um, you said three times. Mm-hmm. That is correct. So he wrestled cool. uh, headlines WrestleMania 18 uh, against Kurt Angle, 31 uh, against Roman Reigns, and then it turned into that triple threat match with Seth Rollins, of course, when he cashed in, and yep. WrestleMania 34 versus Roman Reigns again. So well done there. You, you've got on the board. You've got, you're level with BJ. You're level with BJ. <laughs> One more. There One we more. go. Question six. Which WWF legends uh, won the NFL versus WWF Battle Royal at WrestleMania 2. Um, I think you said LT, Lawrence Taylor. Uh, now, I don't think he was around until WrestleMania 11, as we mentioned earlier. The correct answer was Andre the Giant won the NFL Battle Royal um, at WrestleMania 2. Uh, last eliminating, yeah, last eliminating Bret Hart. Um, it also featured uh, William the Refrigerator Perry, yeah. uh, NFL legend there. So, uh, that one is incorrect. Question seven, who won the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 21. Now the competitors in that ladder match was uh, Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, Christian, Kane, Shelton Benjamin, and of course Edge. And let's see, question seven, you said Edge, and that is correct. So you are a two. Well done. Yes. There we go. Question eight, which wrestler was in the opening match to WrestleMania 7, 8, and 9? Can you remember your answer here, Max? Yeah, and I, I, I said HBK, and I think it's right. And the only reason I'm, I'm, I'm 99% positive that it's right is because I did research on on uh, HBK pretty recently. And uh, I remember him being in the opener with uh, Tatanka in WrestleMania 9. And part of my research was that he was actually, instead of being Mr. WrestleMania, he was actually Mr. Opener. So I think it's HBK. You are correct. Yes, WrestleMania 7, he teamed up with uh, Rocker's teammate Marty Gennetti to take on Haku and the Barbarian. Yes. WrestleMania 8, he opened the show with El Matador, Tito Santana. And then, of course, WrestleMania 9, as you uh, correctly said there, versus Tatanka in the Intercontinental title match. So question 9. So you've got three on the board at the moment, so you're level with Kieran Reed. So uh, question 9, who is Bret Hart's opponent for the I Quit match at WrestleMania uh, 11. Now, you said Jerry Lawler. I did. The correct, correct answer is Bob Backlund, of mm. course. Mr. Bob Backlund uh, back then. So, uh, there we go. Uh, question 10. How many times did Hulk Hogan wrestle in the closing match to a WrestleMania? You said nine times. Mm-hmm. Now, 
when I was penning this question and penning this quiz, I originally thought nine times. Uh, now he was um, main evented WrestleMania one, of course, uh, and uh, that was in the tag match uh, with Mr. T against Roddy Piper and Paul Orndorff. Miss, Miss, uh, WrestleMania two against um, King Kong Bundy, of course. WrestleMania three against Andre the Giant. Um, now WrestleMania four, they had that tournament to crown the new champion, and it was Macho Man versus Ted DiBiase in the final, yeah. which headlined that show. So he wasn't in the main event for that one. Uh, but then you skip ahead to WrestleMania five, where he main evented uh, alongside and against Randy Savage. WrestleMania six, he took on the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. WrestleMania 7, Sergeant Slaughter, WrestleMania 8, uh, Sid, uh, Sid Justice, and WrestleMania 9, Yokozuna. So I make that just eight WrestleManias. So he was one off. Um, oh. And I don't I don't think he uh, closed a WrestleMania after WrestleMania 9, although uh, I think he was in WrestleMania 18 against The Rock. Um, and that was pre- pretty much his last in-ring appearance uh, no, he, he wrestled um, Vince McMahon, didn't he, uh, the following year at WrestleMania 19, but awesome. that was in the middle of the show. Yeah. Uh, so uh, question 11, what type of match did Mr. T and Roddy Piper have at WrestleMania 2? You said a boxing match, and you got that correct. Well done, Max. Oof. Now, the last one that you uh, had the time to to answer within the two minutes, uh, name only... Name, uh, one of the only two WrestleManias to be held outside of the USA. Of course, it was in Canada, so you got the country right. Um, but uh, can you remember your answer there? I uh, said Max? 27, and I don't you think it's right. Yeah, so there were two WrestleManias held in the Sky Dome in Toronto, in yep. Canada, of course. WrestleMania 6, um, and uh, that was uh, 1990, headlined by Hogan and Warrior. And WrestleMania 18, um, oh, and yes. uh, that was uh, headlines by Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar, if I'm not mistaken mistaken um so uh, there we go so you had 12 questions asked and uh, you got four correct Max. So that, 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 like that, i predicted like I so, uh, well done my friend how did you find that quiz uh, was it uh, an interesting uh, slightly stressful experience for you uh yeah uh, yeah no i suppose <laughs> uh, it, it's fun i really really enjoyed it um i think the time limit is is what makes you panic more because you 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 kind of want that a few seconds to to, yeah. to think of the answer, but you, you don't want to waste time with thinking if I, I can get another question in. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with four. Uh, like I said, my aim was not to I didn't ever think I was going to be uh, Grizz's score. Uh, how he did, he's a machine, absolutely a machine. But I'm just glad I beat BJ. Just... There we go, there we go. It was so <laughs> fun, but no doubt we'll have you on the Wrestling with Jonas podcast uh, several more times in the future. So uh, there'll Absolutely. be other opportunities for you to better your score of four if you so wish. But uh, Mags, I just want to thank you for being a special guest on this bonus episode of Wrestling with Jonas, the two minutes uh, Brain Buster quiz, a special WrestleMania edition. Uh, before we let you go, do you want to throw out any any uh, uh, Twitter handles, any social media handles where we can uh, go out and find you, say hi? Um, Listen to what Mags is up to with uh, Badlands, Why We Watch and Five Rounds podcast and uh, where we can hear more from Mags. So uh, your, your opportunity to throw out some plugs, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, and this will probably take longer than the two minutes that I've got to answer questions. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm literally all over uh, wrestling podcast. Uh, I have currently have three uh, that uh, John has mentioned. I've got Why We Watch, I've got uh, Badlands, and I've got a UFC one called uh, Five Rounds. Uh, you can find them wherever you find uh, your podcast. We, we've uh, we're on the Visionaries Wrestling Network, Chair Shot Radio, E Wrestling News, and now the the newly formed Smart to Death Radio. So yeah, go and go and check them out. You can find me personally at DAJ Kirby. You'll find their links to to all uh, the content. So yeah, come and uh, check me out. Come and have a chat. Uh, I'm uh, always up for a debate about wrestling. So yeah, uh, see you there on on the Twitters. There we go. Well, uh, um, I, I just want to say that uh, Mags is, is a real gentleman and he is a, a consummate prof- professional when it comes to podcasting. And he is possibly one of the one of, if not the busiest podcasters out there. <laughs> and uh, like I say, he's got uh, plenty of episodes in the can waiting to drop. And he's, he's ever such a busy man, but always very approachable and uh, was was uh, more than happy to kind of jump in and, and help us out with an episode of the Brain Buster Quiz. So uh, thank you very much, Mags. And I can't wait to have you back on this show sometime in the future my friends uh, uh, but um, please keep it tuned to the Wrestling with Jonas podcast 
And if you've enjoyed listening to this show, uh, please don't forget to spread the word. Tell your friends and tell your family, like I like to say. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that ever important subscribe button with whatever uh, podcasting platform or YouTube you listen to this on so you don't miss out on a single episode uh, from myself and from Mags. Thank you very much for listening. Um, and, and just a quick plug uh, for the rest of John's podcast. This is um, this is day two of my five podcasts in five days. Uh, so don't forget to check out day one, which is our WrestleMania 9 retro review with uh, Mad Dog Angus. And that was a really fun listen. And of course, uh, day two of five with Mags here in the Brain Buster Quiz. Uh, thanks for finally uh, to Mags and to everybody for listening. And we'll catch up with you all again soon. Thank you.